All right, so I just wanted to make a really quick video on the 7-inch touchscreen from Samp Tent. Uh, sold through Amazon, less than $100, and it's a really fantastic way to modernize a vehicle without spending a lot of money. So, you look at the quick cover here. It's Bluetooth, AM, FM, and that's, uh, you can transit, so you can send a signal from a phone to this, and if your car doesn't have a Bluetooth radio, you can have it go aux out to your car, and you can make a car that doesn't have Bluetooth radio essentially have Bluetooth radio. Um, you've got... TF, which is SD card for media, and then you've got MP5, which is also media. So, if you, and as well as rear view camera. <laughs> so, if we look at the device itself, I mean, the build quality is excellent. There's nothing loose. It feels sturdy as anything. There's a couple small speakers in there. I'm not sure what, exactly what those are used for. You got the power button up top. You got your inputs over here and your outputs. And this, this is really great because they give you Type C for power, which they give you a 12 volt included plug, uh, which you can use any Type C power cable for this but if you use this you want to plug this into the cigarette light of your car and then when you shut the car off if this stays on and it doesn't shut off even after a few minutes you're going to want to pay attention to that because you'll kill your battery so you want to unplug this or optimally you're going to want to plug this into something you can switch on and off get it auto zone whatever they're cheap next port over is tf which is for sd card for media you can load music videos or songs on there USB is the same thing. You can connect a uh, device if you want. So like people like the Wolfson DAC on the iPod, fifth generations, you could use an iPod and then go to USB in to send a signal if you wanted to do like lossless audio. Um, you can also just plug a USB drive in there and have music play or music videos. You've got AV in, which is not to be confused with auxiliary. These are two completely different functions, two completely different purposes. So AV in is for the camera. Auxiliary is an auxiliary output for the three and a half millimeter plug that would plug into your car. So one end would plug into this, the other end plugs into your car, and you'll send, you'll connect your phone to this, send media to this, and then the media will go through that cable to your car and out of your car's speakers. Fantastic. So um, I guess I'll jump right into this because I know this is gonna be the thing that's gonna be concerning to most people because it's, it's a little confusing when you look at it. It's easily to get overwhelmed if you look at the included papers. <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, okay, if you're not a tech side person. Ignore this. It's very simple. All the way that uh, the way that this works and all that it is is you've got the camera itself with a decently long cable with a pigtail on the end. And essentially, you would put this on your reverse plate if you don't have a rear view camera. Your reverse plate, your rear <laughs> your rear plate uh, if you don't have a rear view camera. And you could use this as a reverse camera, or you can put this on the front plate. Use it as a front parking sensor. You could put this anywhere. You could even put it on uh, inside the car, looking back if you have kids and you want to keep an eye on them. Uh, the pigtail is very easy to set up. It's it's very easy to get overwhelmed, but all it is is yellow is AV out. It's sending the video signal that this camera is recording out to this. The red is DC in, and it's technically a switched DC in, or it should be a switched DC in, because you want to use the included adapter, which plugs into the pigtail on the DC input, like that. And this has just red and black. So black is your ground. You're going to run that to a ground point in the car or just pigtail or, or splice into another ground. Uh, the red, you're going to use switch 12 volt. So that's what this paper that they include is telling you. See how it says reverse light and it shows like a reverse radar wire, radar wiring diagram. Ignore that. Uh, you can tap into the reverse light itself pretty easily. And essentially the point being that when you put the car in reverse, reverse light comes on, that if this is wired into it, would then send power to the camera, which would then start sending the signal to the front, and it would automatically put the rear view camera on. Now, if you were going to use this camera in the front of your car as a different camera, you'd want to use this to a switch. So, you're like AutoZone or whatever, buy like a physical switch, and you'd wire the switch in line with this, so this way you could press a button and then turn your front camera on. Um, yeah, plain and simple. Uh, Next cable they give you is this, which is for running it. If you're going to use the rear view camera, uh, you're going to run, well, you need to use this no matter what, but, <laughs> but you need to run this from front to back or front to wherever this camera is going to be mounted. So one end is the end that goes into the AV in of the head unit itself. This other end, that's a little tricky. Now this is AV in because it's taking the AV out signal of the camera, sending it to the device. But then you've got this little green guy, and this thing is not in the manual or anywhere. I had to go through forums to figure this out. I probably should have known this anyways, but this is for parking guides. So when you put the, if, if you use this say, as a backup camera, and you want to put your car in reverse, and you have lines that help you back up. So like they'll turn, as you turn the 
car. Well, actually, no, I don't know if this will turn. <laughs> it probably won't. It'll probably just be static lines. <laughs> so just to tell you how far away you are. Um, essentially, all that you do is if you want those parking lines, you need to give this power. So tap into any sort of power source and send this power. You're good to go. Uh, when you put it in reverse, you'll have the lines. If you don't care about the lines, just ignore this wire. Especially for like ease of installation. If you don't care about parking guides and you, and you, you, like, you have a decent vision, you can see, <laughs> you don't need to use this wire. Um, then they give you the mount. So you'd put this either on your windshield, your dash. And the important thing here is that you don't want to have this support the weight of this. Because this, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's not the lightest thing in the world. You know, it's like the weight of, like, it's a little heavier than like a uh, Z Fold or like, like a modern phone, you know. So what you'd want to do is sit this, you know, up on something, like on your dash, like this. And then you'd use the mount behind it just to hold the angle. And as you hit bumps, you know what I'm saying? It's on your dash, it's not going to go anywhere. And then you don't have tension on that, so it should stay there. Uh, they give you a backup plate as well. Um, they give you some screws for the included camera. I wouldn't use those. I would get some better screws personally. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, get this hooked up in a car shortly and then just show what the screen looks like. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it, but uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. All right, so we're inside the vehicle now. Got her hooked up. Just plugged into power. That's the what I was telling you guys about, the aux in. You'd use that for your audio. This actually plays music through the speakers too, but not very loud, so I don't know why you'd use that. But hey, maybe, probably for phone calls maybe or something, because it does have a microphone. Uh, so you got all your apps that Android Auto should have. It's not very laggy or anything. It seems like it's working fine. Um, you know, so you can go like this, and then you can have... Look at that, man. Waze, Spotify, everything you need. You calls, you can go Google Maps and have Earth View. So, I mean, this is perfect. You know what I'm saying? You would take this, for example, and you would just mount it, you know, somewhere like, somewhere like so. And you can see, like, it is bright outside right now. It's very bright, and I can see this just fine. <laughs> it is no way too dark or anything. Actually, I have an aftermarket Pioneer head unit right here, and if you look, this thing's brighter than that head unit. So, no worries on that. The colors are real vivid, the image is sharp, it's responsive. I mean, five out of five stars, Samson. You guys really hit it out of the park with this thing. This is excellent. So, yeah, if you're considering this for a hundred dollars, you can completely change around the feeling of a vehicle. So, I'd pull the trigger. So, that's my two cents.